Down is our worst. And without, as it could be, that Roosevelt said, if I fail, I'll go down as our last. He believed that we were in an existential crisis. Everyone. Democratic capitalism might not last the decade. You know, there were so many great, you know, what we found throughout the process of writing this book, that at times of great friction, that's when art really comes alive, right? Um, you could look at a John Trumbull painting. I mean, and we talk about music because that's what I'm involved in and that's how we wrote this book. But, but later on, even movies were involved. I mean, art has such a way of reflecting what's going on in society and sort in such a way of pushing it forward, as we've said before. And there were so many songs that came out of this era and there were so many songs that we could perform. However, I'm a big Frank Sinatra fan. Yeah. In, in, in fact, Faith and I, we lived in California for a little while, not for long, <laughs> but for a little while. And we actually, I, I like California, I like California. But we actually rented a house there and we rented Frank Sinatra's house. And it had all of his stuff was still in there. And um, of when we Jack went Daniels to look at bottles, Jack Daniels bottles were there and everything. There was, even the heads in, in, the, in, the, uh, in, his, in his bathroom where I stayed was, was in there where he kept his, his pieces on, his two pieces on. It was fantastic. But, oh, geez. but all of us, you know, even the napkins that had Frank Sinatra on it. So I have to tell the story, right? Tonight? Yes, absolutely. I mean, our daughter Gracie, who was probably about four or five years old at that time, we go to look at the house, and my wife had looked at it for quite a few times. And they didn't want to rent the house, they wanted to sell it. And I didn't want to buy a house in California, and I certainly didn't want to pay the money they wanted for Frank Sinatra's house. <laughs> but my wife was really in love with the house, and she wanted us to try to rent the house, and they wouldn't do it. So we went to look at it probably for the fourth time. We walked in, there's a piano in the living room, and my little daughter Gracie goes straight over to the piano, like a four-year-old girl would do, four or five years old. She sat on the piano, she started playing, and we're looking at the house. And when we came back through the living room, she was sitting on the end of the bench and not playing the piano and had her hands in her lap. So I told Grace, I said, Grace, we're going upstairs. We're going to see the rest of the house. Come on and go with us. She said, okay, Dad. She bounds up the stairs, and halfway up the stairs, she stops frozen. There's a big black and white picture of Frank Sinatra at the top with his eyes painted blue. She says, Dad, that's the guy who was sitting at the piano with me. 